Hey everybody, it's Matt with uh, remove-malware.com and today I want to go ahead and take a look at uh, Kaspersky Internet Security 2009 prevention abilities right out of the box. Um, what uh, my clients often do, or people often do, they'll go to the store, they'll buy an antivirus, and they'll install it, and they're done. They don't do any configuration to it at all. Um, and this is the same kind of thing that would happen with Kaspersky. So let's see how Kaspersky handles oh, 5 to 10 uh, malicious pieces of uh, code. I say 5 to 10 because the links I get often go bad the, the same day I pick them. There's a bad one. Let's try another one. Okay, Kaspersky automatically blocks that download. Um, says it contained malicious software. Doesn't exactly tell me what it was. I guess if I viewed the report, I could see. But that's all right. It just blocked it. So um, let's see if um, Kaspersky blocks rogues. Okay, Kaspersky automatically blocked it. It was a backdoor dot win thirty two dot small. Okay. Excellent. Let's try another rogue. This is uh Virus Remover two thousand eight. We have two hundred and fifty nine infections on this perfectly clean machine. Shocking. So if I try to run that, Um, so far, nothing yet. Pretty, uh, okay. All right, I didn't see the pop-up back here. Uh, Kaspersky Internet 2009, potentially dangerous program. Uh, no, I'll block program execution. Virus remover was placed in the untrusted group. The untrusted group is uh, Kaspersky's uh, behavior blocker or HIPS, whatever you want to call it. And if I look at um, system security, go to settings, I can see virus remover is an untrusted area in the untrusted group and really has permissions to do nothing. Okay, so it doesn't necessarily block it, but it pretty much just disables it. Okay, let's go ahead and type, in, uh, get another uh, URL here. Okay, that one's dead. Let's try another. This would be number three. That one's dead. Man, I just had these picked out like a couple hours ago. It's a big old game. Oh, let me grab this one. Okay, this one automatically blocked. It was a Trojan.132 inject. That was number three or four. Nothing loading so far. Yeah, let's move on. We 
got a malicious executable. Um, so here's a problem. We have some malicious code. It's some kind of utility. Uh, it was placed in low security. Then we have another download that just came in off that low security uh, utility. And what I'm going to say is no block program execution on that. Still have some stuff going on down here. It's creating some rules for this .cpx file. This, these are just Trojans, basically. So it doesn't outright recognize them as a Trojan, but it says, hey, something funny is kind of going on here. So if I open up um, application filtering, we go to settings. We can. Um, see these .cpx files are not able to do anything to my system as long as Kaspersky is running but then we've got these malicious utilities which are placed in, placed in low restricted which is not good because low restrictions are are not good if they're malicious so if I want to go ahead and delete these utilities I can delete them or if I'm just not sure I could just move to untrusted but let's say I know I want to delete this one so I could just delete that one and then I could just hit OK. Now again, the average user is never going to even look at that. And they'll probably stay in low security forever. CAV gives you a lot of control uh, with, it, with its uh, application filtering. It's a, it's a HIPS module. so. I uh, detected this, that's number five. Um, that was a Z-Lob, that is a fake antivirus loader, basically. Let's try another one. Uh, number six was detected as another loader. And let's see, we've got one more here. Very convincing. They get a fake Windows Explorer screen. It says your computer is infected. Yikes. Email worms and just everything. Well, I should return to security and download it uh, so I can scan my PC. And this is nice. I mean, it looks like a Windows screen. Remove all this stuff. Whoa, antivirus 2009 detected. If I try to run it, it's dead. Cav kills it. So unfortunately, I only had about seven leaks that were active tonight, and um, I hope that's kind of enough to show you how Kaspersky Internet Security 2009 can protect you right out of the box. Um, let me just close this, get out of here. Uh, it has it has some of the best uh, signature um, detections out there, and then the um, application filtering is awesome because if you learn how to use it, you can go ahead and just place things you're just not sure about and untrusted until you can do some research about them. Um, so obviously, I if I did some research on all of these, I can see these are all bad files, and I can just delete these freely. No biggie. So I highly recommend Kaspersky Internet Security 2009 for prevention. And uh, that's about it. I'm sorry this is so short, but um, that's about all I had time for today. I'll try to come up with a few more reviews this week. i got a bunch of projects uh, on my list. And um, thanks for watching, guys. Talk to you later.